Hello everyone. Did you know that Seattle becomes first city to ban the caste discrimination? Advocates of the ban say that it is needed to prevent caste bias from becoming more prevalent in the United States. Now, when we look at the caste system uh, here uh, in America where Hindus, uh, there's a less than 2% uh, community of Hindus in Seattle, Washington, right? And so they want to end oppre caste oppression in the workplace and housing. And that happens a lot uh, in the Hindu culture where there is a hierarchy, which we'll get into that. But Seattle has become the first city to ban discrimination based on caste after a vote by the city council. Councilwoman uh, Kashama Sewant, who wrote the legislation, said the fight against caste bias is deeply connected to the fight against all forms of oppression. Advocates of the ban say that it is needed to prevent caste bias from becoming more prevalent in the United States. Now, the caste system in India dates back over 3,000 years and divides Hindu society into rigid hierarchical groups. The ordinance passed by Seattle on Tuesday follows similar bans on caste bias that have been introduced on the campuses of U.S. University in recent years. Now, caste discrimination doesn't only take place in other countries, said Ms. Sewant, who is the only Indian American on the C Seattle City Council. It is faced by South Asian American and other immigrant working people in their workplaces, including in the tech sector in Seattle and in cities around the country. Ms. Sewant, a socialist, has previously spoken of being raised in an upper caste Hindu Brahmin household in India and witnessing such discrimination. Now, the measure has been opposed by some Hindu American groups who argue a ban is not necessarily excuse me, is not necessary as U.S. law already prohibits such discrimination. In an open letter, the Washington, D.C.-based Hindu American Federation said that while the ordinance goals were praiseworthy, it unfairly singles out and targets an entire community on the basis of their national origin and ancestry for disparate treatment. They added that Indian Americans made up less than 2% of Washington state population and argued there was little evidence of any widespread discrimination based on caste. Now, caste discrimination has been banned in India since 1948. However, discrimination continues, especially against the Dalits, who were once called untouchables. According to the Migration Policy Institute think tank, the U.S. is the second most popular destination for Indians living abroad. Now, I want to stop and talk about this because when you look at a lot of different jobs, uh, in, you know, employers in the workplace, there are caste systems. They're, they're, they're like hierarchy, you know, where, you know, people seem to be, seem to be treated uh, differently based on the job that they do. And no one, I believe, in my opinion, should be treated any less than anyone else. Whether you are a cook in a cafeteria or a cashier uh, collecting money for people that are coming in, paying for their food, their lunches, breakfast, whatever it may be, snacks, uh, you know, they should be treated with humanity. And that goes for everyone. However, we see not just in the caste system, uh, but we see discrimination all over. Uh, if you have less money than someone, you know, when you go to the bank and you, you know, someone has a whole bunch more money than you, they're treated differently when it comes to financing, giving loans out, you know, and things like that and housing or depending on where you live, you may live on the South side or the East side or the West side. And depending on where you live, you could be treated differently because of where you live live now let's just say the type of car you drive or maybe you don't have a car and you're taking the bus and you're standing at the bus stop and people you know are driving by in their cars we never know the assumptions that assumptions people are making because they see you standing at that bus stop although you may have a very expensive car at home in your driveway and you just choose to take public transportation. Many people do it when they have to commute to work and it's at least an hour or more. People will take or 45 minutes to an hour or more public communication, uh, communicate, uh, excuse me, public transportation. So it really depends on, uh, you know, when it comes to this discrimination, it depends on a lot of 
different dynamics and factors. And it shouldn't because we're all people, but it happens. And, and you see it, like I said, in the workplace and even in churches, you know, if you, I, I'm in this position and, you know, they'll look down upon someone else that's in, a, they feel a lesser position or, or, or you're not in a position at all, you know, and they want to talk down to you. Or if you come to church dressed a certain way, you don't have all the nice nicety clothes and shoes that some people are wearing and you come and they want to sit you in the back like that used to be. You sit in the back and the people in the fine clothes and linens sit in the front, things like that. So there's a lot of laws in place banning discrimination, but that doesn't mean it still does not happen. We see a lot of discrimination in the judicial system. We see discrimination, jobs, churches, communities, we see the discrimination. You can go in the store and you can be standing in line and they'll want to take someone else over you based on the color of your skin. I've experienced that and I'm sure many other people have as well. And people might say they always make this about a race thing. No, it's really what it is. And right here, this is telling you how they're, how they treat uh, the how the culture is and how they treat people in their own culture under this caste system. Now, the system which divides Hindus into rigid hierarchical groups based on their karma, work, and dharma, the Hindi word, word for religion. But here it means duty. is generally accepted to be more than 3,000 years old. Now, the caste system divides Hindus into four main uh, categories. Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vashiyas and the Shudras. Many believe that the groups originated from Brahma, the Hindu god of creation. And so in the first group, this is supposed to be the top dog, right? Top is mainly teachers, priests, and intellectuals created from Brahma's head, you know, at the top. The head is at the top, right? And so if you weren't an intellectual, you wasn't a teacher or a priest, then guess what? you might fall in the second category or maybe the third or maybe the fourth or the damage. But the second category is the Kshatriyas or the warriors and rulers created from the arms. And then there is the third, the Vashiyas or uh, the traders, merchants and farmers who were created from the thighs. And then the fourth, the Shudras, Shudras who came from Brahma's feet who were laborers and did all the menial jobs. And you know, the feet is at the bottom. That's what we used to walk on. That's what we put shoes on and we walk around and people try to say, you know, they want to put people down and sometimes they'll use their feet to try to dehumanize people by talking smack about, you know, and even trying to use their feet as weapons. But just the fact that it feet sometimes they people can use to try to dehumanize someone uh, and, and, and we've seen that today. And then you have the Dalits, which were considered the outcasts. They were street sweepers. They were latrine cleaners. They were people that they felt were beneath everyone else. And I don't believe that that should be like that because we're all human beings and your job or education or how much money or community or the car you drive or the church you attend or the clothes that you wear should not make you feel like you are superior over someone else. And we see even when we have the unhoused and the homeless population, some people, they look down upon them and they are they are still people. And you don't know what type of situation that those people uh, have dealt with or dealing with or where they used to be. There are doctors and lawyers that are unhoused right now or on the street. We see a lot of people that have went through some changes, maybe a bad divorce or lost everything through the bad uh, investments or anything. But however, it does not make them less than a human being. And so when we look at this system, what do you think about this when it comes down to them actually passing a law, legislation banning the caste system in Seattle, Washington, because they want to make sure that it doesn't continue to happen. And if I didn't say this, 
What about the workplace? You know, where they cannot discriminate. They have signs up telling you, uh, you know, but yet still, it still happens. And so when we look at what the Hindus were saying is that it singles them out. And because there's already a, a law in place on discrimination, that no other law should be, uh, have been passed, legislation banning this. But again, we have laws in place for not to discriminate, but people are still discriminated against on so many different levels, including in our judicial system. Now, the indigenous people of South Asia for self-determination and political culture anatomy, they fight against the stripping of their ancestral land and its natural resources. Caste communities that were were forced by caste apartheid into slave and bonded agriculture labor and undignified sanitation work like manual scavenging branded untouchable for jobs considered spiritually polluting they struggle against extreme violence and discrimination and so when you come over here as a uh, as a uh, you know different culture different nationality and now it's being or uh, it has been introduced in recent years on United States uh, college or university campuses. And so with that being said, we really have to be careful what we get into, but also just being able to find out what's going on so you're not misled or misdirected and to understand what these systems are in place and why they're being put in place but also just understanding other cultures and nationalities but understanding other cultures because that's where you're going to learn and that's where you're able to vote on things uh in a um intelligent manner we want to vote intelligently and and that's important and that's why it's good to uh you know always uh, uh, re do your research on anybody you're going to vote for any laws any laws you all also want to do your research before you vote on laws so you understand the laws and so again with that being said y'all thank you so much for tuning in please like the video give it a thumbs up share the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber and for my new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to the channel i hope that we can all have these uh smart responsible discussions and we can disagree to agree and agree to disagree and continue to move forward if it's any videos that you like on my channel please don't forget to give it a thumbs up like the video and share the video i don't care if it's 10 months old a year old two years old if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you've learned something or if you can share it to help someone else give it a thumbs up and share the video and don't forget the copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism comment news reporting scholarship and research fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use don't forget to follow me on instagram stand up be counted and then also, don't forget to check out my jury, oh, it's Shireen Jury, and don't forget to stick with the six weeks, any mode or form of exercise, three times a week, 30 minutes a day, 10 minute increments. And don't forget to incorporate healthy eating in your lifestyle. And for you that are new to the channel and don't know about the stick with it for six weeks, it's any mode of exercise. If you're not exercising and you want to get in shape and you want to actually lose weight or you want to just be better than who you are with your health wise, with eating wise and uh any form of mode of exercise that you can do jumping rope walking power walking jogging weightlifting, uh whatever it may be double dutch you can even double dutch rollerblading uh you know skateboarding whatever it may be a uh, water therapy you know whatever it may be uh punch if you got a punching bag you know punch that aerobics or just doing regular push-ups sit-ups whatever it may be don't forget to stick with it for six weeks. God bless you all on today and I will be with you soon.